Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting workout for you. It's going to be all about the static exercises. So today, instead of doing the repetitions, we are going to just hold the positions. And I think it's a very useful workout in my personal opinion. It's very good for the stability muscles, very good for the endurance. And it's just a fun way to spice up your workout routine a little bit, to train a little bit of different muscle groups maybe, and to just try something different. So recently we came back on stage at the Bering Ski Future. We are starting to perform again and it made me realize once again the importance of these types of exercises because I think it's very useful for the dancers especially. Again, it's all of my personal opinion. So, Without the further ado, let's just get into the exercises that we are going to be doing today. So we are doing 30 exercises in two rounds, 50 seconds on and 10 seconds rest and just holding all of the positions. So first, we are starting with plank on straight arms, then plank on forearms, supine plank, side plank right, Side plank lift, squat hold, balance on the right leg, balance on the left leg, lunge hold, back bow hold, abs hold, plie hold, and the last one, standing back hold. So a lot of holds here. As I said, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, and I'm going to get my timer started here. And we are going to begin in 20 seconds with our plank on straight arms. So let's get ready to be in the plank position. So hands underneath the shoulders and a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. So, two, one, and let's do 50 seconds. So, bend your elbows a little bit, don't hyperextend. Look in front of yourself on your mat and just engage your core, engage your leg muscles, and just hold. Try to stay stable here. So, I personally cannot really say that the static exercises are my favorite types of exercises, but I really think they're very useful. And it's interesting sometimes to do them instead of just training the repetitions of some sort of exercises to just hold and get stronger after I do these types of workouts. Okay, so now rest. Oh, actually, I think I told you the wrong numbers. We are doing 15 seconds rest. So 50 seconds on and 15 seconds rest to just breathe a little bit more. So now plank on the forearms. So just on your forearms here, the same idea, the same straight line, but a little bit different. So again, look in front of yourself. Palms on the mat. Try not to droop in your shoulders. Okay, so we have 20 seconds left. I think it is really helpful when you are holding the plane to engage the butt muscles. It is really holding the whole construction together. Okay, so almost done here. Great, so now we are moving into supine plank. So sitting like this, it's the reverse plank, kind of. So again, let's start. Lift your pelvis, and I think it's better to hold on your heels. Again, palms underneath the shoulders, and try to make a straight line. And don't have to extend the arms. Okay. 
Okay, 20 seconds. Holding. And don't forget to breathe. Okay, and we are done. Now moving on to the side plank on the right side. So, on your right side, again the shoulder, the forearm underneath the shoulder, and just lift, and maybe just lift the other arm as well for a little bit more of a stability. Stack your feet. And a straight line. Engage your obliques and keep breathing. So, ten seconds. Try also to keep your shoulders down for this. Not like this, yeah. Okay, move to the other side on the left, the same thing. Okay, and start. So, guys, it's been quite a surreal experience to be back on stage at the Mariinsky Theatre and I'm just so grateful to have this right now and it feels like there wasn't any pandemic honestly it feels so like at home so it's been like an interesting chapter in my life let me know in the comments what's been interesting in your lives what are the news I'd love to read comments to hear from you. Okay, so seven seconds, shoulders down, long necks, straight line, and we are done. Now stand up for the squat hold. So we are going to just do a little squat action and lift the arms like this and really engage the legs muscles. So, just like this. Then shoulders down. Try to make a straight line with your body. Don't curl your back. And engage your quads. 15 seconds left. We have very interesting exercise coming up after this. Okay, so now for the balance on one leg. Stand on one leg, bend the other one, bend the knee a little bit. So you have an option here to make it really, really, really hard. You have an option to close your eyes and try balancing on one leg. This is really hard, but so good for your stability. So, just try finding this balance. If it's too hard for you, no problem at all. Just balance with your opened eyes. Bending the knee a little bit, make sure that your knee is pointing towards your middle toe on your foot. This is very crucial for your knee stability. So I am shaking. It's really hard to balance. I'm actually filming this video ahead of performance last night at the Mariinsky, so it's a little bit rough. It's the morning of the day after. Okay, and we are done. Now on the left leg, the same thing. Great, try to balance here as well. So you can do whatever with your arms, whatever feels comfortable. Let's start. Engage 
engage your core and find this pot. Okay, and we are done. The next exercise is the lunge pull. So I've divided the interval into two. Let's do 25 seconds on the right leg and 25 seconds on the left leg. So let's start with the right. Just do a lunge. Make sure your knee is facing, pointing towards the middle toe and just hold. We are going to do 25 seconds on each side. So go as deep as it's comfortable for you. The deeper you go, the more difficult it's going to be. Just hold. Okay, and now we're going to change the legs. Sit and hold. Okay, 10 seconds left. Okay, and we're done. We go down on the mat. We are doing the back ball hold. So we are lifting the arms and the legs and just holding for 50 seconds. This is one of my favorite exercises. Okay, and start. Try to keep your legs together, the heels together. And shoulders down for this. Long neck. Don't go too high up or too low down. Okay, and almost 15 seconds left. Okay, great guys. Good job. You're doing beautiful. So now, onto your back, we're going to hold our abs, so like this in a diagonal, we're starting in a second. Okay, so just, this is a pretty difficult one, but just keep pushing through it, just breathe. You can lift your legs higher, it's going to be a little easier, lower, it's harder. Choose your difficulty level, no pressure here, of course. Okay, 20 seconds, keep holding. You are going to feel so strong after this. We are getting stronger together, aren't we? Okay, seven seconds. Okay, so now we are getting up. This is going to be a plie hold in a turned down position. Here especially, make sure that your knees are pointing towards your middle toes. So choose a position and go into a deep plie. We can do ballet arms. And stay as low as you can. So trying to hold your posture, which is very important for all of these exercises. Abs in, shoulders down. And 10 seconds left. 
breathe. Okay, and the last exercise in this round is going to be a standing back hold. So legs shoulder width apart. Just bend them a little bit and go like into horizontal position with your back. And try to lengthen it. Lengthen your arms, lengthen your back. Go low, try to go parallel to the floor. I don't know if I'm parallel enough, to be honest. But let's hope. And we are lengthening. Don't just hold, try to lengthen, try to reach something with your arms. Fifteen seconds, guys. We are doing great. Okay, so the first round is done. We're doing the second round of the same exercises. So a little bit of a longer break here, 30 seconds. And we're going to start again. Okay, so how are you guys feeling? Good? I'm feeling good. Okay, so in 15 seconds, we're continuing with our planks. So let's go down. Ready? For the straight arm swing. Okay. Okay, great job guys, the forearms, plank is next. So let's get ready, I'm just start a little bit earlier here. So for all of these planks exercises, it's very, actually for this whole workout, it's very useful to have a mirror right in front of you for you to check your form. I don't have a mirror, so you guys will be the judges of me if I'm doing a straight line or not. So 15 seconds again. Holding. Okay, great. The supine plank on your backs. Okay, I'm actually also going to start a little bit earlier here. Just to make the most out of this workout. I also think that for these exercises, you can do them, you know, just holding without any thought behind it. Or you can hold and engage your whole core, your whole body, your legs and your arms. And it will be so much more useful if you do it that way. So just really think about it. Okay, and we are done. Moving on to the side plank now. On the right side. Okay, so let's start five seconds earlier. Okay. 
So really here in this side plank, you could hold yourself just by, you know, engaging the obliques because they are engaging by themselves already because you cannot hold this position without engaging them or you could engage your legs and you could engage your abs and just work a little bit more so straighten your knees you could push your shoulders down and it will be much more beneficial i think I hope what I'm saying makes sense, guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's move on to the left side. So, let's go. I also think this workout is a good finisher after like a strength workout or a cardio or just after a day of rehearsals and day full of ballet. I think this is a nice way to just round it up. Okay, three seconds. And move on to the standing squat hold. Let's get ready. Feet parallel. Knees pointing directly towards your middle toes. And let's squat. Draw a little bit forward with your body. Just go a little lower here. Great guys, beautiful. So for the balances, let's get ready. Plie a little bit of one leg, make sure it's parallel. And let's try closing your eyes, hopefully I don't fall. Okay, we are done. On to the left leg. So just breathe, plie, let's balance. Okay. Oops. So this is also a very good check if you've had enough, enough sleep. experience shows that if I sleep enough, I'd be much more stable and less wobbly.
Okay, we're done. <sighs> For the lunge pose now. Let's begin on the right leg. And switch out to the left side, carefully. And seconds left now. Doing great, guys. Okay, we're done. On to the back bow, hold it down. Starting a little bit early here as well. A few years ago, I used to be really obsessed with this exercise, and I used to be trying to hold it for like five minutes. I was so sore. Every time afterwards, like the next day, I was like eight. Back bow hold maniac. But anyway, it's very nice exercise. But it's very important to hold the correct four part. Okay, great job. We're almost done with this workout, guys. We have three exercises left, so let's hold our abs now. And start lift it up. Make sure your lower back is on the mat, is flat. It's not lifting up. And try also pulling your stomach in for your abs to be a little flatter. Okay, 20 seconds left, guys. Let's keep holding. Shoulders down, point your toes, straighten your knees. Five seconds. Okay, great. Now for our plie, our turn down squat. Choose your position carefully and let's go. Let's do the high arms now. Just for the sake of the beauty of this video. Stomach in. 
10 seconds. We're almost done. Activity completed. And let's get guys that's it for this workout. Thank you so much for doing it with me. Hopefully you're feeling nice. I'm feeling actually very good, not too tired and just the perfect length for me. So let me know what you think about this workout in the comments and thank you so much again. I love you guys very, very much and I'll see you in my next videos. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and more things related to ballet. And I will see you guys. Bye bye.